Hi, welcome to B-Bang Film. Today I'll be giving you a tutorial of my camera build, what I bought, and why I bought them. Let's get started. Alright, so before we get started, I do want to let you know that I am not sponsored in any way of any of these gears that I'm about to show you. I do want to let you know too that what I decided to get for my camera build may not be ideal for you, so let this be a guide for you. Alright, to begin with, I decided to go with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. That was a mouthful. So, the reason why I decided to go for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K is because I'm a cinematographer and I wanted to do, uh, I wanted a camera that's more cinema based. And then for lens, I decided to go with the Mica 16 millimeters Cine lens. I decided to go with a Cine lens because of the focus ring. So for my camera, I decided to get the Tilta Cage. That was built for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K and 6K. Uh, I decided to go with this because uh, one, it looks very sturdy, and two, it just looks really nice on the camera. So I decided to go with that. And for those of you who don't know what a cage is, it's basically um, a piece of metal wrapped around your camera that you could put more accessories on it. All right, so for battery, I decided to stick with the LPE6 battery that comes with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. Eventually, I will upgrade to a V-mount battery system, but as for now, I'm sticking to this just because of budget-wise. If it is within your budget, however, I do recommend that you get a V-mount battery. It'll make your camera last way longer. So my choice of follow focus is the Tilta Nano. The Tilta Nucleus Nano uh, basically is a wireless follow focus. The reason why I decided to go for a wireless is because, you know, just in case of the scenario of like the first AC is doing uh, a shot where there's not enough room and he needs that extra space just to pull focus then he can do that. Now the other reason why I chose the Tilta Nucleus Nano is because it's made by Tilta and the cage is already Tilta. So, you know, I just figured, you know, Tilta, Tilta, it works hand in hand, right? Now, as you can see, I have the wireless puller right here and you can see me changing focus. Now I'm in focus. <laughs> All right, so for the external monitor, I decided to get a seven inch fill world monitor. Uh, the, reason, the reason why I decided to go with the fill world is because as I was doing my research on what monitor to get, uh, the fill world seemed to be at a reasonable price uh, that I could afford for a budget uh, filmmaker. It gives me the grid option because I like to have my grid options on. Uh, I like to So for the map box I got the cam tree map box The reason for it uh, there really isn't a reason for it. I already have it. I also decided to get uh, ND filters. I got the ND2, 4, and 8. Basically what an ND filter does is if you're shooting outside and you want to, like, for example, shoot on a, a F4 or an F5.6 and, you know, it's overblown outside, you can use those ND filters and help help you adjust to that f-stop that you want. So this is an example of me taking the filter out and putting the ND filters in, like so.
what a matte box is is pretty much a way to block incoming lights for example with this shot if you don't want light coming in you can pretty much turn off by closing the barn doors I actually really like this shot So this pretty much sums up my camera build. Hopefully you enjoy it and it gives you a perspective of what to get for yours. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me. If I have the answer, I'll answer you. Maybe make another video about it. And if you, if I don't know the answer, I'll you know uh, look for the answer and hope hopes to answer those questions for you. And if you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe and. Let's see you on the next video where I use this bad boy. Alright, see you guys.